Something missing inside this kitchen. Elaine Tatane is wondering if her refrigerator that she spent $1,500 for will ever arrive. After saving for over 10 years for this kitchen, <laughs> I went down and I ordered the appliances I wanted from Gediman's because I liked the personal attention. That was back in June. Gediman's delivered her electric range, her dishwasher, and a microwave. They staggered the deliveries to accommodate the kitchen remodel. They came as I needed them. I called them up and they brought them. And then when I called them to tell them I was ready for the refrigerator, they were closed. <laughs> She's using a dorm size refrigerator to get by. She and her husband already paid for all of the appliances. The total bill, $4,300. Now you're out fifteen hundred dollars. Yeah. So there's got to be a little bit of anger. Yes, and 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 I feel bad because dealing with them was so pleasant. <laughs> but they were so nice. At Gediman's Appliance on Lisbon Street in Lewiston today, no sign of any activity, but there is a sign posted in the window saying, "Gone to appliance training. See you on Wednesday, September 17th." But that was two weeks ago. When we tried to call the company for comment, here's what we heard. Thank you for calling Gentlemen's Appliance. We are currently out on appliance training and we will be back on Wednesday, September 17th. Please leave us a message. Thank you. You wanted to deal with them. They're a small business and they were so pleasant and their the customer service was so good. And then boom, it's it's you know, you're blindsided. When you're a nice person you expect nice things from people and you're disappointed afterwards. That hurts. There may or may not be a recourse here, but the Attorney General's office says it has received several calls, and they'd like to hear from other customers who are in the same boat. In Lewiston, Jim Keithley, WMTW News 8.